When you think of what it means to be a Hall of Famer, a lot of great characteristics come to mind. One coach in Waco certainly checks all the boxes, and we'll hear his name called this weekend. Here's Matt Leib. For all of his accomplishments inside the Farrell Center and on this very court, Scott Drew will be inducted into the Texas Sports Hall of Fame on Saturday, and it's not an accomplishment he's taking lightly. It's, it's a tremendously uh, humbling uh, accomplishment, but something that I'm really proud that uh, everyone gets to be a part of. Scott Even Drew. with Hall of Famer cemented next to his name, Drew refuses to take the full credit he deserves. This is a, uh, a great team honor. I mean, if it wasn't for the, the staff that we've had at Baylor and one for the players, administration, fans, um, then, then obviously I wouldn't be recognized. So... Um, and God's really blessed uh, uh, our program. A national championship, two Final Four appearances, and more than 400 wins at Baylor. Drew is more than deserving, but still gives credit to those he modeled himself after. I always looked up and, and admired uh, Roy Williams, Tony Dungy, um, a lot of people that do it uh, 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 with more inspiration and positivity. And uh, I think God creates us all uniquely uh, different and uh, you got you to gotta use the strengths he's given you. His class is stacked with names like Adrian Peterson, Michael Strahan. So who is he most excited to talk with on Saturday? Adrian Peterson was someone that I enjoyed uh, cheering for, especially when he was with the Vikings because I, I grew up being a Vikings fan. When he found out about his selection, he didn't believe it. I asked him if they had the wrong number. <laughs> now he's just happy to celebrate as a program. Not Scott Drew going in there. It's it's uh, Baylor basketball and Baylor University and everything we've done here going in there. For six sports, I'm Matt Lively.